I'm going to show you how to use the BOSS ES5 or ES8 switcher to control the Keeley Halo delay remotely. Uh, and this is how I've set it up. The bank switch on my ES5 controls the A side on my Halo. So if I press it, it turns the Halo off. And if I press it again, it turns it on. The mute switch on my ES5 controls the B side on my Halo. So if I press it now, it turns it on. If I press it again, it turns it off. Again, it turns it on, etc. So if we go back to side A here, if I press and hold, it goes into tap mode. And then I can just tap it to whatever I'd like here. Also, I've set up that the current active preset number switch on my ES5 controls the preset bank on my Halo. So if I press it now, it goes into preset bank 2, 3, 4, and back to 1. I've connected this using the external control 1 and 2 on my ES5 to the remote jack on my Halo using a TRS cable. And my Halo input here is also connected after the ES5 output. Uh, and then I just use the switches uh, on my ES5 to turn it on and off. And this way I don't have to sacrifice a loop uh, on the ES5 to the Halo pedal. I can just use the switches to control it instead. Uh, so I'm going to show you my setup on the ES5. So let's go and go into edit, patch, and then I scroll to this page, which shows control 1 to 4. Both control 1 and 2 has to be set to on. This is very important for it to work. Uh, if you instead use um, the control 3 and 4 uh, jack on your ES5 or ES8, both uh, control 3 and 4 have, has to be set to on. And then we move on to control and expression. Let's see here, we go back to the start here. This is um, uh, the bank switch, which I've set to off. And this is the mute switch which I've set to off as well. And this is also important to, um, to set to off because otherwise uh, the different functions on the halo pedal won't work and you will just be confused and annoyed. So very important to turn both these off. And then I go to the assigns. Um, and you need to set up four different assigns. And these are the respective values for the different assigns. Let's go back to the start here. Switch, on, of course. And then source, bank, which is the bank switch. Momentary. External control. And then it's control 2. And, and if I set the target to control 2, it controls the A switch don't know why but this is how I got it to work and then you need to change the min to on and max to off because uh, the standard value is that min is off and max is on and here you don't have to change anything act low is zero act high is 127 moving on to assign two switch is on source mute so this is for the B side on my halo Momentary, external control, control 1, and this time around, because control 1 is the B switch. And like I said, don't really know why. Change min to on, max to off, 0, 127. Assign 3, this is the current number assign. And for this you have to use two different assigns, uh, since... Uh, 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 on the halo pedal, you press both buttons at the same time, and then it changes preset bank. 
so this is why you do two different assigns for the current number and switch. So switch is on, source current number, external control, control two. You, it doesn't really matter which order you do this. On, off, zero, 127. And then we go to sign four. On, current number, momentary, external control, control one, this time around. On, off, zero, 127. And then we go into the play option. I just want to show you this, that I've not changed anything here. It's all latching. Uh, which is the standard value and I'm going to mention that this works really well for me because uh, I use uh, one bank on my ES5 for different songs so uh, let's say I have a song that is one bank then I have five different presets that I can switch between on my ES5 for that song and then in between songs, I just use the arrows here to go to um, different groups or different banks. And then just use the plus and minus button to switch between uh, different songs. Um, and then, so this, uh, this sort of makes uh, the bank switch, uh, uh, it doesn't have any use for me since I just use these buttons instead to switch between banks or groups. And then for the mute button, I just use my tuner here. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you can see it. Uh, as a mute switch instead. However, it can be preferable to save all your presets on the Halo to the uh, A side. Uh, that is, if you're only using like four different presets on the Halo, because then you can just use the current switch or the current number switch uh, on the ES5 uh, to switch between preset banks on the Halo. And then you can just use uh, either the bank or the mute switch, whichever one is preferable for you uh, as an on off switch. Or if you have a loop to spare, you can use the Halo in the loop and then just use the current number switch to change between preset banks. Uh, and then you can have both the bank and mute switch uh, as they are. Uh, I hope that helps.